Hello friends, greetings from Iceland. We have breaking news. The new volcanic eruption started in Grindavik and the live cameras captured it as it happened. Let's take a look. This is the beginning of the eruption. It started in the same place more or less as back in December. So I presume Grindavik City and Blue Laguna are safe because uh, the lava field from January acts as a natural barrier for the new lava, but there is a threat to the highway, Grindavik Road, which is here to the right side, which will block the passenger traffic, tourist traffic to Blue Lagoon if it happens. Let's go forwards and see what is how it started. You see. I was sleeping back then, it started early morning. It brightened up whole area. The fish is about three kilometers long. And this is how it looks right now. Some pictures came up already. You see the fissure. The fissure stretches from Sudnukur uh, crater to Storos Kogafat, and most of lava is spilling to the west. Yeah, here you see it. Yeah, this is the best probably. Let's zoom in, it shows us the situation right now. Uh, so, uh, here you see a geothermal power plant and Blue Lagoon to the right side. And you know, there is a protection wall which is going all around here. So, because of that, I think Blue Lagoon is safe. And most likely, this eruption will last for two days or so. So, Malawa most likely will flood the areas around here and considering uh, we have very much frost right now in Iceland it's minus 13 uh, it will be hard for the lava to keep going uh, so we will act as a natural cooling immediate natural cooling for the lava city of Grindavik there behind the deep ground and the city of Grindavik is rather safe because there is a lava field new lava field and the barrier wall which will act as a natural protection but it's also quite a significant distance uh, so uh, the highway is here is running to Grindavik but the highway had been blocked it's unusable anyway because lava ran through it uh, but it would be a problem if uh, lava goes a bit further here and runs over the Grindavik highway in this location because then the traffic to Blue Lagoon will be blocked, people wouldn't be able to visit it easily as other. This is the only concern in my opinion. This is Taurus Kogafat Mountain, and we will go on the maps say, and take a better look uh, on the maps. And let's take a look on the map where it is taking place. This is Grindavik. Yeah, so eruption started along those ancient craters here where I had, we had uh, an eruption back in December. Uh, so it's stretching somewhere from here all the way behind this mountain to the to the east. This mountain is called the Storas Kogafat. So lava is running towards uh, the highway here. This is the major danger. Yes, yeah, you know there is a lava wall here, and now the priority is to lock uh, the openings because there is an opening here uh, on the highway for the traffic to Blue Lagoon and geothermal power plant. Lava ran over here, as you know, uh, over the highway. So. Uh, the road is unusable further in, but it will be a big problem if lava will cross the highway here. Uh, now they are trying to to save Blue Lagoon and geothermal power plant by locking the openings. There is an opening here, and there is another opening here where the hot water pipes uh, run through. I will show you on the drone video. So, uh, eruption took place in the best possible location. It's pretty far from Grindavik, so uh, it could have been worse, but luckily it's uninhabited area, you know, there is no infrastructure except the highway here to the left side. So this is on the location where it's taking place, R right along those fissures, ancient fissures from a few thousand years ago where we had volcanic eruption back in December and the fissures stretched for three kilometers and lava shooting now 80 meters lava jets 
all the access roads to the eruption site had been closed and it's impossible to go and film it. It's possible to watch it from several kilometers distance here from the airport highway. The eruption is uh, taking place somewhere here, but it's a distance of some 10 kilometers maybe. 8 to 10 kilometers I would say. But it's well visible from Reykjavik even now. But I do not plan to go there to film it from a distance because I got sick during the last Northern Light tour. And I was actually scheduled to hike to the 2021 volcano tomorrow with bus travel, but obviously this tour will be cancelled because the eruption will last probably for two, two days or so. So we can't go and film it uh, and we will watch it from the news as it happens from the light camps.